Hi, everyone. So this is the first RE lesson for this term. So I'm going to go through the slides with you. I will give you some time to think and to answer some questions that might come up. But if you want to pause the video anytime, that's absolutely fine. So in today's lesson, our learning objective is to know the sacred places that believers go to. And you'll know if you've been successful today because you will be able to identify places that um, make you feel safe. You can explain why you feel safe. Then thirdly, in the green one, you can see it says I can identify three different places of worship. And then for a challenge for you today that you can say why places of worship are sacred. So let's get started by doing our knowing more and remembering more. So thinking or if you've got some pen and paper, you can write down the answer to the question. So question one, Christians believe in Jesus, true or false? Okay, question two, who is the prophet that Muslims follow? Is it A, Jesus, B, Muhammad, or C, Peter? So you can write down the name or you can just write down the letter. A, Jesus, B, Muhammad, C, Peter. And your challenge question, what do Muslim babies share when they are born? Have a think, you can write it down as a sentence or just a word if you want to. Okay, do you want to get a different color pen ready, just like we do in school? Ready to mark your answers, let's see how you did. So here are the answers. So it's true, Christians do believe in Jesus. And question two, Muhammad is the name of the prophet that Muslims follow. And for your challenge question, what do Muslim babies share when they are born? It is their hair. How did you do? How many did you get right? Three out of three? Well done if you did. Okay. So let's look at our Ollage Organiser, which we would have if we were in school with us. And let's look at what we are going to be thinking about in today's learning. So our key question, you can see it's popped a circle around it. It says, where do I feel safe? Where is, sacred, where is a sacred place for believers to go? So that's what we're thinking about today. And you should be able to give me an answer to those questions at the end of today's lesson. And then we'll be looking at sacred places and you can see we've got a picture of some sacred places there. And then next to that, it says that these are special places where people worship and talk about their beliefs. And we're going to look at three of them. We're going to look at the mosque, which is a sacred place for Muslims to pray and worship Allah. And we're going to look at a synagogue, which is where Jewish people pray and worship God. And then we're also going to have a look at a church, which is the sacred place where Christians pray and worship God. So that's your key vocabulary for today, your key knowledge that we'll be thinking about. So some of you might already be thinking about how you can use that to answer the question, where is a sacred place for believers to go? And then our key idea is that it says down here in the bottom right hand side, a place of worship is a specially designed space or a holy space, usually a building where individuals or a group of people come together to pray. OK, so let's have a look. So let's start by thinking about where do you feel safe? So you can see some pictures on there. We've got some places that look like they might be religious buildings. And that bottom left one with the gorgeous blue sky looks like that's our school. That's the secondary building. So some of you might be thinking, where do you feel safe? It can be anywhere. So for me, sometimes I feel safe when I go to my parents' house and I see my mum. Sometimes I feel safe when I am at my house um, because I've got lots of things around me that make me feel um, safe. So I've got my, um, my Mr Bean teddy bear lives with me at home. He makes me feel safe. 
So what do you, where do you feel safe and why? Okay, so I've given you some thinking time about where you feel safe and why you might do that. And I'm sure that lots of you have come up with some amazing ideas as to why you feel safe in those places. And I'm sure they're much better than the suggestion I gave you. So why is your safe place special to you? Oh, we recognize that person, that is Mr. Sousa. And she's put, this is her parents' house and it's special to her because it's where she grew up. So that must mean that she's got lots of special memories about being a child and feeling happy when she was there. And then we've got our school. So why might this place be special to you? Why might school make you feel safe? Okay. Oh, we've got a swimming pool. We've got a house. We've got a school and we've got a beach. So these are some of the places that you might feel safe and warm and happy. So we might feel safe when we're in swimming pool because we are learning how to swim. That's certainly important. And we might feel safe in the swimming pool because we have fun and we have those happy emotions come to us when we're in the swimming pool learning. Our home where we live might be safe to us and make us feel safe because it has our family in it. And at school we have our friends and it's where we do our learning. And of course, with that, we have our teachers that help us to learn and the beach or on holiday if you haven't been to a beach because that's okay. So holidays and the beach are often about having fun, enjoying ourselves, maybe that sense of adventure. I know that when I like to go on a holiday, certainly like to do a lot of walking and uh, go rummaging around different cities and finding things, looking for things. So certainly adventures happen there. But also importantly, when we're on holiday, when we're on the beach, is it's nice to relax. And that's really important that we have that time to relax so that we can um, switch our brains off, especially at the moment when we're doing lots and lots of home learning, that we can just have that time to be at peace with ourselves and our thoughts. So is there a place that's special for believers to go to? So if you believe in something, hmm. So we've got some flats, got some houses, some homes. We've got, oh, that looks like a library to me. A swimming pool. Oh, oh, we've got what looks like a church. And I think that's a church because if you look at the left-hand side of that picture, just here, it looks like that could be a cross, which I know is a sign of Christianity and is a sign that Christians use quite a lot and also on the doors it looks like there are two crosses. So which of these do you think would be a special place to go to if you were a believer, if you believed in a God? Would you, would it be at home in a flat? Perhaps your home? Would it be in a swimming pool? Would it be the library or would it be somewhere that looks like it might be a church? Ah, and we can see some others here. Oh, that looks like the same building, but we've got it from a different angle here. And we can definitely see there's a cross outside. Then on the other side, and we can do some reading here, it says, if you've got really good eyesight, hopefully yours is better than mine, Greenwich Islamic Centre. And then we've got a building at the bottom as well. So I wonder if they might be special places that believers go to. Oh, here we go. Here are the answers. And I'm sure lots of you had good answers and were thinking things like this as well. So this is a church. And this is where Christians come to worship. 
and Christians feel safe here. And you can see, as I was talking about earlier, this black cross at the bottom, which is a big symbol in Christianity. But I wonder, as an extra Mr. Church challenge question for today, does anybody know why Christians use the symbol of a cross to identify with Christianity? I'm not going to give you the answer today. I might give you the answer in the next lesson. But does anybody know why the cross is so important? So we've got a church and that's where Christians go to worship. Next, we've got a synagogue. My turn, your turn. Synagogue. Well done. And this is where Jewish people come to worship and Jewish people will feel safe here because it's their place where they can pray. And we have above the place of worship, above the synagogue, we have got the Star of David, which is a special symbol for Jewish people. And again, I wonder if anybody knows or might be able to find out why the Star of David is important to Jewish people. Now, if we go back to our knowledge organizer, I'm just thinking, we were going to think about Christians. Tick, we've done them. We were going to talk about Jewish people. Tick, we've done them. But what was the other religion that we were going to look at? Here it is. So we were going to think about Islam, which is where Muslims go to worship. And this is our Greenwich Islamic Center. So that's not far from us. So this is a mosque. And it, the mosque is where Muslims go to worship. And you can see a symbol at the bottom there that is important to Muslims. Now, I don't know the name of this symbol, but I wonder if anybody can work it out. It looks like a moon, a crescent moon and a star. And Muslims feel safe when they are in the mosque. I wonder if you can say that. So my turn, your turn. This is a mosque. Well done. OK, so let's see if we can think about you. So where is a safe place for you to go? So there's your question. So you can either be thinking about the answer or if you've got pen and some paper, you can certainly write the answer down. And thinking about why is this place special for you? Now, we should be remembering year one, we should be writing these in full sentences. So maybe say your sentence, hold it, then write it down. But don't forget when we're doing our writing, what do we need at the start of every sentence? We need a capital letter, well done. And then we've finished our sentence, what do we need to put at the end? What punctuation? Well done, we need to make sure we have our full stop at the end of our sentence. So can you write your sentences for me now? So where is a safe place for you to go? I go to, and then you can tell me where. And then why is this place special for you? So my home is special because, think about your spelling of because. Okay. And then once you've done that, this is your next task. So this is testing that we were able to remember what Mr. Church was just talking about. Now, if you want to go back and think about what Mr. Church said, that would might not be a bad idea. So you can rewind the video a bit and see if you can find this out. So can you put the right um, words in the correct places? So we have a table. And at the bottom, underneath the table, you have got six words, mosque, synagogue, church, Bible, Quran, and Torah. So when we think about it, where would the mosque go? I'm going to help you out with this one. So a mosque is where Muslims go and they follow the faith of Islam. And the mosque is the name of the building. It's the place. So mosque would go underneath Islam in that first box. So see if you can finish off that table. And that for today, year one, is our learning. I hope that you've learned lots about 
um, these three religions, Christianity, which is for Christians and is the church, Islam, which is the religion that Muslims follow, and they go to a mosque, or Judaism, which is the religion that Jewish people follow, and they go to a synagogue. Okay, remember, please go back, rewatch the video, or rewind it to little bits if you need to, and good luck with your learning, and I'll see you next week for even more.